Hebrews chapter 7. For the priesthood being changed, of necessity there is also a change of the law. Hebrews chapter 7 provides a comprehensive look at Melchizedek and establishes Jesus as a high priest in the order of Melchizedek, thereby superior to the Levitical priesthood. The chapter underscores the inadequacy of the law of Moses and emphasizes the perfection brought about through Christ, who holds his priesthood permanently. Exegesis by sections and verses, verses 1 to 10. Melchizedek, the king and priest. The author begins by introducing Melchizedek, the king of Salem, and priest of God Most High, who met Abraham and blessed him. He examines the meaning of Melchizedek's name and title, emphasizing the absence of a recorded genealogy, which makes him resemble the Son of God. He highlights the fact that even Abraham, the patriarch, gave him a tenth of his plunder from a battle, signifying Melchizedek's superiority. Verses 11 to 19. The Change of Priesthood. The author emphasizes that the Levitical priesthood was unable to bring perfection. Otherwise, there would be no need for another priest in the order of Melchizedek. He underscores that the change of priesthood necessitates a change in the law. The author points out that Jesus, from the tribe of Judah, would not qualify as a priest under the law of Moses, but Jesus became a priest in the order of Melchizedek, through the power of an indestructible life. Verses 20 to 28. Jesus is the perfect high priest. The chapter concludes by comparing Jesus with the Levitical priests. Unlike them, Jesus became a priest with an oath, and his priesthood is unchangeable. Jesus is able to save completely those who come to God through him, because he lives to intercede for them in heaven. The author highlights the suitability of Jesus as the perfect high priest, holy, innocent, unstained, separated from sinners, and exalted above the heavens. Overall Summary Hebrews chapter 7 presents a significant argument for the superiority of Jesus' priesthood by using the figure of Melchizedek. The author argues for the inadequacy of the Levitical priesthood and the law, setting the stage for the necessity of a new, perfect high priest in Jesus. He is established by God's oath and holds his priesthood permanently. This chapter amplifies the themes of Jesus' unique qualifications, his perpetual intercession, and his ability to completely save those who approach God through him.